This is the Tonghai University Almond Dream Group class, September 22nd, 2016, fall semester. And this is, will you tell us your name? My name is Tina. Now, Tina, why, why, why would you take a class? Because I think this, this is a funny class, and I often dream every time I sleep, and I want to know what does it mean in my dream. Do you have any questions? No. Um, and do you think dreams have meaning then? Yes. Why do you think that? Because it might reflect something in my deep heart. Okay, that's true, and we'll, we'll <laughs> see that. Okay. So let's go to the let's go to the next person here, and this this is um, Claire. Now Claire is not a member of the class. She just slipped in for once. And she's very shy about talking, but here she is from Jai, right? Now, um, Claire, I won't ask your name because <laughs> your name is Claire. But <laughs> <laughs> do you want to say anything about dreams? About why you enter, why would you like to sit in this class for today? You, maybe you can say it in Chinese if you want, and and Tina will translate. If you can't speak English, say it in Chinese, and Tina will translate. But you could try English. Because the holiday is too long. I'm so bored. <laughs> the holiday is too long and you're bored. Uh. So you want to come to a dream class. So I, I come to Dong Hai, find her. Oh, so you're going to her classes? Uh. <laughs> and so you love school? Huh? <laughs> you like school? Like Most students are waiting for the holiday, but she, she doesn't want the holiday. She's waiting for school. I want Go to school study. Okay. And <laughs> This semester I have no class. I'm in uh, go to, go to hospital. Also, <laughs> oh, you're um, you're you're um, what do they call it? You're an intern. You're an intern. Uh, oh, Suji, is that in in Hualien? Hospital. Oh, Jai. Oh, Jai. Um, I'm not. I have a class. Not start. Oh, you haven't started. Still function. <laughs> what you say? Still in holiday. Still in holiday? <laughs> okay, so we're glad to have you. And do you think the dream class is enough fun to come? Mm. It's a holiday. Mm. Okay? Anything um, else you want to say? Do you have any questions? The class name is interesting. Shimo? <laughs> Shimo? Dreams and self-discovery. It is interesting, right? <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to say any more. Is that okay? Is that enough? Do you want to say more? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. You did a very good job. You came once and we put you in a movie. And Okay, now this is the next person. And just tell, tell the people your name. And uh, why you why why you're interested in dreams, and uh, and if you have any questions about dreams. Start. Start. Yeah, start. <laughs> People are watching you. <laughs> my name is Claire. Mm, I'm interested. I think this class is, is interesting, and I should. I want to know why it's dream. And I don't have any. You want to know what is dream? Mm. What do you mean, what is dream? I see it's very dream, and when I sleep, why should people make dreams? Why should people make dreams? Oh. In other words, you go to sleep and you have these strange or interesting dreams, mm. and you wonder why, why does that happen? Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll find that out here, okay? That's a good question. These people ask questions, we'll find that out. That's what we're going to do this semester, okay? Thank you. Okay, if I go to the next person? <laughs> Here's the, wait a minute, let me get this there, make it smooth. The next person, let me zero in on you. I'm the world's worst cameraman. Zero out. Okay, your name and... My name is Alice. I'm interested in dreams. And I want, I want to know more about dreams. And I want to know why I dream and what is me. Why are you dreaming what it means? Okay, anything else? Okay. 
Okay, and is it all around? Okay, you wanna tell the people who you are? Talk, talk louder. Da, da, sham, idiom. Okay, now talk louder in this class, okay? But it's, it's true, dream, in dreams you can do things you can't do in your life, right? You can fly. How many people can fly in your dreams? Can you fly? Nobody can fly? Oh, you can fly? Okay. Um, but dreams do more than that. They show you that you can do something in your real life that you didn't know. And that's why they're useful, you see. It's not just that you can do things in dreams that you can't do in life. But with dreams, if you understand your dreams, you can do things in life that you couldn't do in life. And that's what we'll work with with this class, okay? Anything else you want to say? Okay, hold on. See if I can go smoothly to the next person. There we go. And there she is. And your name? Okay, well, we can do this, but you have to help out. What you have to do, all of you, is keep a notebook, a bejeeba, next to your bed with a pen and write down your dream in the morning. As soon as you wake up, don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> Hold it in and write down your dream. Okay, because if you go to the bathroom, you forget the dream. You forget them very easily. Okay? And in, in a way, the truth is there's no such thing as a horrible dream. We misinterpret them, you know, and we're afraid of the images, but the dream is always trying to tell us something good. That's my experience for many, many, many years. And so if you bring in some of these horrible dreams, you'll never have them again. You'll, you'll understand what they're saying, okay? So, so write down your horrible dreams. Now here we, we arrive at a rare specimen, and this dream group is a male. And you want to tell us your name and why you took a... My name, my name is Kevin. The reason I want to take this class is because I want to know the, con the connect of dream and self-discovery. Because I'm learning adventure advent education, and I'm helping people to do this. I'm helping people to discover themselves. So I want to know how to discover ourselves by dreams. Yeah, that, that's the reason I want to take this class. Well, I think it's very important. In Finland, they. Um they don't educate the pe people the way, children the way we do in Taiwan or America. So for, the, for, for a long time, the child has no homework at all. You know? yeah. And their, their job is to discover who they are and what their passion is. Yes. And then when they discover that, then they put them on the right track and start giving them work. And a lot of people think that's the best system in the world. Yes. And so most of you, I mean, me, me neither, I didn't have that benefit. And so, the dream group does that. So in this group, which is only one semester, if you bring in a dream, if you work with a dream, you'll discover. you discover yourself. And so why should we have to discover ourselves? Like, you know, a long time ago they discovered Taiwan, right? The Dutch discovered Taiwan. But before the Dutch discovered Taiwan, the Chinese discovered Taiwan, right? And before the Chinese discovered Taiwan, the Aboriginal people discovered Taiwan. And they tell me before the Aboriginal people discovered Taiwan, there were these little black people here that discovered Taiwan first. That's the myth. I don't know if it's true. But why should someone like you have to discover yourself? Think about that. That we, I sit here, but I don't know who I am. It's funny, no? And I go through school all these years. They teach me so many things, but nobody teaches me who I am. What they do? They tell me who I am. <laughs> you know? My parents, you should study statistics, you know? <laughs> 
And the school will say, well, your grade in this is okay, so you should go in that department. You say, no, I'm interested in this. Go in that department. <laughs> so they tell you who you are, but they don't give you a chance to discover who you are. Now, what if you have a chance to discover who you are, and you discover that you're different than what they told you? That's interesting, no? Because if you discover who you really are, you have power. Have you read, um, what's his name, Daniel Pink, his book, uh, Drive? Have you read that book? Well, oh, 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 what is it called? A whole new one. Um, Daniel Pink. Read his books. And it's very interesting. It's very interesting about self-discovery. And you're just, you're just auditing this course, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next person. Welcome. I'm going to make a smooth transition there. There he is. Okay. And you want to tell us your name and why you took this course? <laughs> Hello, my name is Ken. Why I will take this class? Because just because I like to dream, and sometimes I will dream some like funny dreams. Uh, example is every time I every time I'm in my that Japanese grammar teacher class, I sometimes fall asleep, and every time I fall asleep. I sometimes go say about 30 minutes, and when I woke up, it, it just like I dream half a day. Yeah, in a dream, I, I dream half a day. And I want to know that by the time you had in dream so quick. Do, do you know a story called the, it's a children's story called the, um, the, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, I think it's called, by, I forgot who wrote it. Um, what's it what is it in Chinese? And so the little girl goes in the wardrobe. That's where you go. It's like a closet, right? And um, many things happen to her, right? Yeah. Many, many. She's in a strange world. She walks through the clothes and she finds another world on the other side. And all these different things happen to her. And then she comes back and she runs out to tell her brothers and sisters. And what does her brother tell her? Do you remember? He says, you couldn't have done all that. You were just gone a second. And that, that's the nature of, of dreams, too, you see. So a second in this world could be 100, 100 years in the other world. And um, a, a dream like this can be a very long dream. There, there was a man in France a long time ago, and he had this long, long dream about being a revolutionary. I forgot exactly the dream, but it's, being a revolutionary, this and that, and this and that happened, and boom, and they caught him, and they, they put his head under the guillotine, and whoosh, the guillotine fell, cut off his head, and he woke up. And just as he woke up, his bed had fallen. His bed broke, and it had fallen. So that was like one incident like that. And that, he, he thought that his mind made up the whole dream to explain that instant, and then he woke up. So it's true what you said, you know? Yeah, it's true. A, dream, it can, it, a lot of the time is different there than here. Because the, the dream in the mind is the same way. There are, two, there are two sides of the mind. The left brain has time. The right brain is different. It has a different kind of... So we have two different ways of looking at reality. So. Any more questions? No. Okay. So let's go to the next person here. I think there's a chair in the way. Yeah, I got you without the chair. Okay, wait, give me a second. My name is Aurora. Um, I dream many dreams um, when I sleep. And some dream horrible, strange, and interesting. Confuse what? Confuse my dream. Because some dream was um, like another word I, li I live that word, not this word. Yeah. Uh, some, sometimes I, I don't want to wake up. 
I think Jay is beautiful, and I maybe let Jay. Um, I I'm in I'm in there, and I think like uh my life, second life. You didn't like your life. You like the dream better. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> It's true, but the thing is, the other world is the same world, seen differently. You see, so what it is, is, is a dream like that is telling you, the world you're living, the world that Aurora, Aurora lives in and walks around is, is not her real world. Her real world is a much better world. And now the question is how to get from the world that she has now to the better world. That's the whole secret, you know what I mean? Is um, the, the, and the dream has the key. In other words, the different world that your dream is telling you about is this same world seen in a different way. There's some, some writer once wrote that uh, he said, about, he talked about someone who went, all, went out and traveled all over the world to discover things. And then he came home. And when he came home, he saw it for the first time. He discovered what home was for the first time. So lots of times we're in an interesting place, but we don't know it. We're acting like it's a boring place, but it's really an interesting place. Anyway, it's hard to explain. But this feeling you have, is this is a common feeling in some Aboriginal peoples and in certain parts of the world. They, they, they have a taboo against waking a dreamer. They don't wake, they don't wake people up from the dream because they, they feel that when you're sleeping, your soul is traveling to other worlds. And if you wake the person up, then he can't come back. So it's sort of like what you describe. So I know what I was going to say to, 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 um, to uh, the man before. In this class, in, other, in, in, in the Japanese class, maybe you fell asleep. But in this class, you'll wake up during class. You say, during class, I woke up. And that's what this class is about. And that's what it's about, your kinds of dreams. It's about waking up. Waking up to something that's more magic than what you know now, okay? And now what you do, of course, is you write your dreams down in a notebook as soon as you wake up. And, and you, you write the date, then you write the dream, and then you write something that happened to you the night before or the day before, anything that's concerning you. Um, in this class, you don't have to tell a dream. You can go the whole semester without telling a dream. But we have 18 people, we have 18 weeks, and we can do 18 dreams. So if you want, we can do everybody's dream. Now, some people are shy. They don't want to do a dream. So other people get a chance to do two and three. Sometimes people in this class have done four dreams because other people don't do dreams. So you may get a chance to do three or four of your dreams. Some people have very long, long, long dreams. <laughs> so, and so what I tell you is you have a long, long, long dream, like a novel, you know, chapter seven, chapter eight. <laughs> if you have a long dream like this, Type it out on the computer and print out 18 copies and bring out the... Because what we do when someone tells a dream, we write the dream down. With a long dream, it can take an hour to write the dream down or more. Okay? Let me go to the next person over here. Do you have a question? Uh, my English is not good. Not bad. It's not bad. Uh, not <laughs> it doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be good. Uh, yeah. Poor English is fine here. You will, because it's very interesting. Like you said, your world that you go to in the dream is very interesting. So everybody would be interested, you know, in, in your dream. Really? They did this? So they're listening. And then it gets into the story of your life, too. It comes in in this class. We work the dream and the life together. And so people get very interested in you. And they listen. They listen to every word because it's sort of exciting. These people, they just look like ordinary people. But everyone here is like a door. And you open the door, and there's another world in there. Very interesting, like a novel, like a movie, you know? It's very, very interesting. And so you're listening. 
And when you listen, and you're listening to people talk with all the different ideas, when you listen to people talking and something that's interesting, it's called English language acquisition, you acquire the language like children do. You just soak it up like a sponge, soaks up water, you know? So your English will get better. But English, English is, compared to dreams, English is not interesting. You know, to tell you the honest truth. The dreams are more interesting. And they're not, a, well, never I'll tell. Here we come, and your name is? Um, my name is Stephanie. So Stephanie, do you want to tell us something? Mm, so um, it's like lots of people. I want to know more about myself. And um, just like what you said, so in Finland or in Germany, in other country, and uh, they don't have this kind of class, maybe because um, they're kids, so they're children, they're students. Um, it's easy to find what they want to do or uh, what's their job in the future. And um, I think uh, in Taiwan, most of students um, don't know what to do in the future or or maybe they don't know themselves. They don't understand themselves. And um, I think me too. I, I'm like that too. And recently, um, uh, I, I got to see a doctor and the doctor told me about um, my healthy situation. It's not so good like before. And um, uh, he told me this is about pressure. And um, but, but I didn't feel that. I, I didn't feel pressure or other depression or other emotional. So um, so what I want to take this class is because um, I can know more about myself to find. Um, to find um, so so some some emotional or or some situation I'm not sensitive um, in and um, maybe to 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 search my brain and to record my brain I can understand more about myself and um, to to discover more maybe potential or other things about myself. Well, that's what this class is for. You know, I couldn't have said it better. You said exactly what this class is for. You know, it's like, um, imagine you lived in this pretty, pretty house, you know. You had a room, a bathroom, a kitchen. And you lived there, and you lived there year in and year out. And one day, you decided that you would, um, you would take down the, the big blanket hanging on the wall because it was dusty. So you take it down, and behind the blanket, there's a door, a big wooden door. You say, I didn't know there's a door there. And you open the door, and there's a big hallway with many rooms. And you discover, I've been living in this little house, but really, I have a castle. All this space, all these rooms, all these different things, this is all <clears throat> mine. And that's the way it is, you know. When you start opening up dreams, you find so much more, you know. Okay? And let me, um, let me just move the camera a second because I, there. Okay, can you, can you see that? Okay. Your name is? It's true. About myself. Um, so I come to this course to understand myself more and, uh, and find who, am, uh, who I am. <laughs> well, this, you know, this, this, you people are lucky this semester because all these people are here for the right reason. Other semesters, it hasn't been like that. 
you know. And there are people that say, well, my mother told me that, you know, when I, um, when you dream, it means you're not sleeping good, you know. <laughs> All these people have these superstitions in their head that their parents have told them or someone told them. But you people all already have a feeling that your dreams have meaning, you know. That's a big step. That's half, half of the battle. And what we're going to do in this class, we'll start, if, if we, uh, now it's 2 o'clock, we could probably start now with a short dream and we'll finish this. We'll actually work with a dream and I'll show you how we do it. It's an interesting <clears throat> process. And when you finish this class, you'll be able to do it yourself. And if you ever wanted to help to do it, I have a group in Taichung that meets once a month and it's free. It meets in a tea shop. And you can come to the group and you could work with your dreams. If you ever had a nightmare or some strange, interesting dream, bring it there and you meet other people. You won't just discover yourself in this, in this class, you'll discover, you'll discover each other. Okay? So you're here for the right reason. What can I say? Let's go to the next person here. Now this, now you told me an interesting story when you came in. Would you tell, the, you tell your name and tell that story again, how, how you, why you took this course? Talk, talk, a, da shang oh. talk a little louder. Uh, my name is Sandy. Yeah, and last year I just went, went by here and I saw the class. And I just really interesting. I think why all the people just sit down like a circle. And I just asked my friend and she told me this is a class about the dream. And I just, uh, I'm really interested in it. Actually, I think the dream sometimes can keep your memory longer. In uh, um, July, I went to Nepal to be a volunteer there. And I just, I stayed there about one month and I just teach ch the children there and had a very good memory in there. And uh, after I went back, at, the, at that time, just about one month, every day I dream them. And I think, although I leave them, but they are still in my heart and I just, Dream them every day, and so I like the, I like the dream very much. I think it sometimes can keep your memory become longer. Yeah. That, that's one of the functions of dream. Dreaming is memory consolidation. You know, you pick up many pieces of information. Yeah. The dream weaves them together and makes them a meaning. Like 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 if I told you ten different facts about squirrels, you'd probably forget them. But if I made up a little story about squirrels, you remember the story. And dreams like that too. So it, it, it ties information together and helps you remember. The story that you told us when you came is you're a Japanese major, yeah. and this is the Japanese building yes. where we have this dream class. I chose it because we can arrange the chairs like this. And um, you said that after your Japanese class, you saw this class, and you got interested. So I thought that was an interesting story. Let me go to the next person here. So we, we've got to, so we have time to do a dream. There you are. Now, do you want to tell them your name? I'm Blair. Um, you what? I'm Blair. Blair. I saw this class and I just think it's funny. It's funny? Yeah. And sometimes I will dream something weird. So I want to know what's happening. Why, why would someone dream something weird? Does anybody know? No? Well, because dreams, like dreams, I don't want to say this because I said it in a film I made last week at a, in a different school or a class. Um, there's a reason why dreams seem weird, and so we'll find that out, okay? They're not weird. They seem weird, but they're not weird. What's weird is our life. Think about that. I'm Blair. My dreams make sense and my life is weird. That's more like what it is. That's more like the truth of it. And if you understand the dream, then the life becomes much more alive. It doesn't make sense what I'm saying, because I don't want to repeat what I said last week in another film I made, but just wait. Just wait till we do. We're going to do a dream today. And just keep that in your mind and ask yourself, okay? So let me go to the next person. We're almost finished with our circle here. There we are. Okay, you want to tell people who you are? My name is Kimmy. Kim, 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 Kimmy.
why, why I wake up and what? And I forgot You want to know why you wake, wake up and you forget your dreams so quickly? Now, I'm not going to go into that because I talked about that in the other video too. I, this class, I want to talk about something different. But we'll touch on that when we work with dreams, okay? But it's true, you forget dreams very quickly. On the other hand, some people, how many people remember dreams from childhood? Anybody? Raise your hand. A dream when you had a See? People, I have dreams. Do you remember any dreams when you were a little child? Do you remember any of your dreams you had when you were a child? Sometimes. See, that's weird. We, we forget dreams so quickly, but we remember some dreams we had. Maybe because it was so scary or they were so, so important. And um, you, you'll know why, okay? Within just a few, just, just a few weeks. Just keep the question and watch what's happening, okay? I don't want to go through it again because we're, we're short on time, okay? Okay, the next person here is, uh, there she is. Wait a minute, it's a good camera, but it's a bad cameraman. I'm just not good at this. Some people are really good at this. So there we, there we have you. Now tell them who you are and everything else. My name is Rebecca, and I've been previously mysterious. And sometimes you dream, and you want to eat to continue. But you stop, and you awake. So you will start to imagine how, how, what will happen if you keep in dreaming. Yes, yeah, so I think dream is very attract me. So I came to this class. Well, that's very, very good. You probably have you probably have a good imagination too. Some people have a dream and it stops, and they're disappointed, and they go back to sleep, and the dream starts up again. You know, <laughs> it's like turning onto the TV and that channel and the serial. You know, yes. so okay, well, write your dreams down. Okay, they are interesting, but for more reasons than we know. Okay, here we go over right here. Okay, you want to say something? Chelsea. And my mom always tells me. Oops. This, I tell you, I'm not good at this. Give me a second. There's so many different knobs. To break this, Chelsea, let me start over. Okay, go ahead. My mom always tells me that um, the dream is upset to the, in our daily life. Your dream is what? Upset in your daily life? Yeah. What, what do you mean? If that happens in my dream, it won't happen in, in the real life. Wait, wait. If it happens in your dream, it won't happen in real life? Yeah. She said the dream is upset in real life. What do you mean? Opposite. What? Opposite. Opposite? Opposite? Yeah. Now, but, you know, you could go and tell your mom that your dream teacher says she's wrong. So, you know? so I come to this class to, to check if it's true or not. It's not true. It's not true. The dream is not the opposite of real. The only way it's the opposite is this. The dream tells the truth. The dream always tells the truth. People, some people say, will my dreams come true? No, they won't come true. They are true already. Every dream is true. So dream is not the opposite of real life. What's the opposite of real life is the life that we live. So often we live a life that's the opposite of our own real life. We want to find our real life, the life where we have power. Now, I'm not saying that everybody here has the same power. They don't. Everybody has a different power. But everybody has to find the power that's their power. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The love that's their love. And the dream leads you to that. And it's not the opposite of life. It's the dream is usually telling you what you've missed in your life, what you don't see, what you think is not true, but it's true, what you think is true, but it's not true. That's what the dream does. We'll see that. When we work with a dream, you'll see it. It always surprises you. That's why it's discovery, because you discover yourself. So tell your mother she's wrong, but, but anyway, I'm glad she talks about dreams. <laughs> and this is the very last person here. And he, um, he said he came here because he's curious, so I'll ask him some more about that. And tell him your name. There you are. Hello, I'm Brian. Brian? No, and you said you you're interested in dream. You're interested in dreams because you're you're interested in dreams because you're curious. Yes. Oh, you want to say anything about being curious? Uh, I, actually, I've got the same op, uh, op, opinion as her too. 
uh, because mm. I always used to dream a lot and I wouldn't want to wake up because <laughs> I don't want to stop dreaming. Yeah, and that's why, that's the reason why, why I always be late on classes. But <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, this class is sort of, what is it, it's, it's uh, 1, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so... No, I'll be on time. Yeah, because it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, anything else you want to say? Um, I've been really interested in dreams after watching a movie. And oh, the Inception? So, yeah, Inception. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm always wondering, like, why do we have dreams? And, like, maybe dream can bring, bring us out of reality. Out of reality? Yeah. Just escape from the reality. Well, it's the opposite. Dreams bring us into reality. They bring us back into reality yeah. in a deeper way. Um, it's like, for example, like let's say you watch a movie, like uh, uh, Titanic, right? And it would seem to be an escape, a romantic escape, an adventure. So many movies are like that. They, you go to them as an escape, but after you leave the movie, something is in your heart ticking, you know? Mm -hmm. Something has touched you somehow, and it makes you think about your life. So it, this is a funny thing about art. It would seem to be an escape, but it's really the opposite. It's not an escape. It brings you closer to what's real in life. And in the end of, of Titanic, the woman had this rare gem. And I think it was a diamond or something that everybody was looking for. They had all these complicated technologies to find it. She had it in her hand. What did she do with it? Anybody remember? She threw it in the ocean. Why? Why would she do that? It was so much money. Everybody's looking for it. She threw it away because she found something more valuable, the love of that boy. So, you see? So that you learn that in a movie. You learn something true, that maybe our values are wrong. Maybe we're valuing the wrong thing, you know? Maybe money is not as important as love. Now, if you think that way, everything is different. And so you go, you go see the movie for an adventure, but you come out having learned something important. And dreams are like that. <laughs> so both what you say and what I say, they're both true. Okay? Anything yeah. else you want to say? I got a question. Yeah. Uh, is there any reason why we, when we talk while dreaming or sleeping? So say that again. Is there any reason why? Why we used to talk, like talking when we were sleeping. Oh, you mean talking while you were asleep? Yeah. Maybe because of dreams or? I, I really don't know. But uh, I, I know that um, when, when I was a child, I used to talk in my sleep. How many people talk in your sleep, you know? <laughs> you know, there's always a story, the, the story of the man, the, the, the husband, and his wife's name is like Susan, and he's asleep and he's saying, Maggie, Maggie, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so he talks in his sleep, but he's talking the name of the other woman, you know? Um, I, I don't know why people no. talk in their sleep. People, some so people, it's a relation between dreams. Yeah. It could be. It could be. I just don't know. Do you talk in your sleep? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> um, I, I don't know the answer to that. Now, a lot of things I don't know the answer to, but this class is not about what I know. This class is about what you discover in your dreams. So this is really a discovery class, you know? So the answer to your question may come from someone during this semester, okay? And that's the end of the uh, tape for now, the movie. And we'll do another movie at the end of the semester, okay? So thank you very much.